Built my first custom, true custom FXR in 1990. It was an FXRP frame that I hauled to Donnie Smith's house where he raked the frame behind in the garage, him and Rob Roll. Okay, I'm Brian Clark from Clockworks, Mitchell, South Dakota, Chile. You know, I was that kid who, um, you know, in high school doodled on the side of my paper, didn't pay attention in class like I should have, had good short-term memory. I could take the test and pass it, maybe get a B, but um, didn't really remember it the next week. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I ever had a car or a motorcycle that'd be in one of those magazines, like you see behind me on the wall there? That was that was my that was my litmus. That was my goal to just be in one of those magazines one time would be the pinnacle of everything. Because that's what I looked at. That's how I learned. That's how I got to know what I knew. Lucky me, uh, we've been in all those magazines. We've been on the covers of them. We've had an incredible run. Um, but it was just that it was, you know, I just wanted to be, I wanted to build one custom motorcycle. The Donnie Smith show to me, uh, has become part of my history, part of my DNA almost, uh, it's local to me. It's five hours away. It's Minneapolis. Uh, it's, in, it's in March. Um, it's going to be snowing. It's going to be cold. It's going to be super fun because nobody's out on their motorcycle. Everybody's excited. Everybody's wound up. Daytona has just happened. They've seen it on social media. They're excited to get their bikes out. They've been working on them all winter because now is build time. Now is January. It's, you know, December to March. It's build time, okay? And uh, people are bringing out their newest, latest, greatest creations. I remember having my first booth there, just trying to introduce who Clockworks was. What did we build? What did we work on, right? It was before we even had a parts line. And yet Donnie and Neil were so gracious to us. They would allow us to, you know, get in the last moment because we were driving them from all the way from Mitchell, South Dakota up to Minneapolis. It was in the middle of a blizzard. It's truly like family. It's like going home. It's like a family reunion for me. I, I love the people of the Midwest, of Minnesota, of Iowa, North Dakota, Chicago, Milwaukee, people that come to the Donnie Smith show just to see the best of the best. It's super fun to be there. Yeah, Donnie Smith and Neil Ryan epitomize gentlemen in our industry. They're guys who have gone, Neil, for instance, done a gazillion swap meets. He knows how to put on a show. He knows what he likes to see being on the other side of the table. Donnie Smith has done every bike show you can imagine from California all the way to Florida. And so to have one that has his name attached to it and has the kind of camaraderie, um, you know, come have a cocktail, let's talk motorcycles and swap some stories. Um, if you've never been around Donnie Smith, that's who Donnie Smith is. Donnie Smith is a hardworking farm boy who drag raced cars, built motorcycles and made his dream happen. And the Donnie Smith show is about that. I have a couple choices. This is so hard for me. Uh, you know, and the only time I've debuted something at the Donnie Smith show, it's belonged to somebody else usually. So for it to belong to me is super unnerving almost, right? Um, you know, part of me wants to bring back Iris, the bike that Donnie helped me build, the bike that he and Rob raked the frame on. Um, I don't know if I can get it freshened up by then, but uh, my dear wife, Vanessa, bought it back for me on her birthday this last summer in 2023. And so that's a bike I built in 1990. That bike is the bike that I built my whole brand on. It was the bike that people thought, wow, that kid built a really cool bike. Um, hey, would you want to put on some handlebars for me? Hey, I have a question for you. I have $500. How would I make my bike a little bit cooler? Um, and then it became, I have $5,000 and it became, I want you to build me a bike. I'm that kid. Those are my stepping stones and Irish represents that. It, it is 
it's a 1990 FXRP that, you know, I, I can't say it any other way. It's done in Donnie Smith style. It's a true hamster bike, if you will, if you know what a hamster is, a uh, group of custom bike aficionados uh, that just love motorcycles and love passionate um, people that build bikes, take them apart, mold the frame, smooth everything, change this, change that. Um, we did it. We changed every piece on a, an old cop bike. If, if there wasn't a clock in Clockworks, I mean, I, I wouldn't care. I mean, I've been affiliated with some of the greatest people. Um, every chapter of my book, you know, someone was there, someone helped me. Um, I believe it takes a team to win the Super Bowl. Yes, I get to be on here because I'm the quarterback, but it's not about that. It's about um, just being there. So for me to be invited means a lot uh, to me, but more means a lot to my brand and to be there amongst you know the guy that is truly my he's my dad I, i've always said that uh, donnie probably gets embarrassed by it he probably is like i want that kid to be my kid why me um but seriously he's donnie is my industry dad there's no two ways about it um he's answered every dumb question i've ever had he and rob have literally walked alongside me and helped me guided me told me that idea was good told me that idea was bad there's a component to it when you're invited. When you're invited, it means, um, hey, I picked you, you step up. And uh, if you don't feel that and you're invited, you don't need to be there. If you're, if you're not sure about what you're bringing and you don't have butterflies, you're not doing it right. You need to still be nervous. It doesn't matter if you've got 26 years in this business or 24 months or it's your first ever bike. You should be nervous. My name is Brian Clock from Clockworks. Mitchell, South Dakota is coming to St. Paul. See you at the Donnie Smith Invitational.